once we defined electric field in terms of lines of force that means the once we start visualizing electric field in terms of lines of force we have to define the electric field intensity or electric field in terms of lines of force before that you need to understand one thing area is a vector area is a vector or in other words you can also just put this quantity uh, in the term called tensors wherein depends upon the requirement we use its vector sense and the second thing is the direction of the area is perpendicular to the plane of the area direction of the area suppose uh, in our 11th standard we had studied there is l vector there is b vector then l cross b the determinant value is a vector so that means that if there is uh, L vector and this is B vector, the area is L cross B and the direction is if this is L, this is B, L cross B is this way, it is perpendicular to this. Here in the same way, if there is area, this area is facing upwards, then it is perpendicular to the plane of the area, area vector, area vector, I am saying A cap, A cap means unit vector along the direction of the area vector so a cap is perpendicular to the plane of the area so you need to understand this here uh, you're going to find out how electric field intensity based on lines of force if there are positive charges embedded on this wall negative charges embedded on this wall then the lines of force will for, uh, travel from positive charge to negative charge so lines of force are this way then what you're supposed to do is Suppose this is this wall and this is the other wall then lines of force are traveling this way then electric field is defined as you have to keep a unit area unit area means 1 meter square length 1 meter square breadth unit area so the number of number of lines of force passing through passing through unit area but the area is held perpendicular to it but area vector is parallel to the line of force because this is it so as i stated there as i stated there area vector and electric field are parallel to it when they are parallel more number of lines of force will pass through this if the area is actually so the number of lines of force passing through unit area when held perpendicular to the lines of force or area vector is parallel to the lines of force what if if the lines of force are like this if the area is facing upwards then when the area vector and the lines of force are right angle to each other then the number of lines of force passing through this will be zero once we define electric field intensity or electric field we are going to define a new quantity called electric flux which is a vector quantity uh, which is a scalar quantity electric field is a vector quantity but we are going to define a new term called electric flux electric flux which is a scalar quantity electric flux means one meter square area the number of lines of force passing through is called electric field intensity or e suppose if two meter square area is there in place of this if you keep two meter square area then the number of lines of force will be two times e if you keep a meter square area the number of lines of force passing through this will be a times e in other words in one meter square area if there are 10 lines passing through in two meter square area 20 lines passing through in five meter square area 50 lines passing through what are we doing you are multiplying the number of lines of force passing through one meter square area into the area right then the flux which is often referred to as phi is a product of electric field into area but the point is when you define electric field the area vector has to be parallel to the electric field but when you define electric flux there is no condition because when there is electric field we should not mistake it for zero electric field so in order to measure electric field you always have to hold the area perpendicular to the lines of force that means the plane of the area perpendicular to it or area vector 
parallel to the lines of force here when you find electric flux any area in the electric field how many lines of force passing through that is called electric flux so it is electric field into area if the area is like perpendicular to the lines of force it should be zero if it is parallel to the lines of force it should be ea then obviously that angle is what cos theta what matters is the projection of area the projection of area parallel to the lines of force that is why it is cos theta so the electric flux is e a cos theta in a uniform electric field suppose in a region if the electric field is not uniform like uh, number of lines of force here there will be more lines of force in this region there will be less number of lines of force in this region what we have to do is we have to break all the area into small small infinite small area each area is da 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 and the flux through each area is e dot da e dot da e dot da then the total flux the total flux in this case it is not just e a cos theta so we have already seen no electric flux is a electric flux is a scalar electric field is a vector area is a vector when you multiply two vectors yielding a scalar then it is a dot product and obviously that cos theta is appearing here electric flux is e a cos theta or in other words you can write that as you can write that as electric flux is e a cos theta r e dot a then if the electric field is not uniform if it is uniform it is very simple electric field into area you can easily find out if it is not uniform you are going to employ the integration tool how you are going to employ the integration tool just i said the total area will be broken into small areas small areas each area da is so small within that region electric field is constant so for instance in this point electric flux is equal to e dot da like so this e dot da is small electric flux d phi like that e through each area d phi d phi d phi will be there the summation of all that is called integration of e dot da e dot da is electric flux so flux of an electric field through an area is e dot da in you have to say that as e da cos theta this we use especially in in non uniform electric field in a uniform electric field it is so simple simply e dot a or ea cos theta